Hey guys, it's Brother Chris again, one of your 3C youth leaders with another episode of Keep Thriving, featuring our devotional, God in the Grind. I hope all of you are still doing well. I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves and one another. I pray that you guys are continuing to take these studies and go further, take them further, researching, going over the cited uh, Bible verses, and just digging deeper than what we're sharing in these videos. So without any further ado, today's uh, devotional is titled Advancing the Gospel Through Us. Advancing the Gospel Through Us. And it reminds me yet again, like many things do, of our 3C Youth mission statement. And 3C Youth exists to provide an atmosphere of love, acceptance, and excellence while helping young people walk into their God-given destiny. Well, advancing the gospel through us makes me think of, again, that last part. We wish to help and come alongside you young people to help you walk into your God-given destiny, but oftentimes God wants to work through you and accomplish through you guys so that you can be a tool to allow other youth, your friends, your peers, to walk into their God-given destiny. God does not just use us youth leaders. He can also use one of you guys to help another peer walk into their God-given destiny. So without further ado, advancing the gospel through us. We are on day three. And again, I'll just share some key points from the devotional. We're talking about Paul here. And when God wanted to infiltrate the leadership of the Roman Empire with the gospel, he allowed the Apostle Paul to be arrested and taken to their headquarters where he lived under guard for two years. Living under house arrest for two years sounds like a real bummer. Yeah, right now we could probably feel while in quarantine like many of us are under house arrest. But listen to the joy in Paul's voice as he relays what God was doing in the midst of this time in his life. He says this, Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. News of Paul's imprisonment for spreading the message of Jesus intrigued the palace guards so much that they went out of their way to meet Paul. Not only that, we also know that Paul had opportunity to share the gospel with governors Felix and Festus as well as King Agrippa. So he had an opportunity to share the message of Jesus Christ with governors, politicians, and kings. Zero in on this last piece here. Who would have guessed that such a strategic advance of the gospel would come as a result of its chief spokesman, spokesman being confined to house arrest for two years? That being confined, who would have thought such an advancement of the gospel could be accomplished at a time like this for Paul, where he's being confined for two years. We, many of us, are feeling the like discomfort and uneasiness and frustrations of being confined during this time in our homes, uh, practicing social distancing. How can this time, like Paul, be used in your life to advance the gospel? It finishes our devotional with this line. Don't be surprised if the most unfortunate things that happen to you become your best opportunities to witness for Christ. I absolutely love that. This is an opportunity, not for us just ourselves individually to grow closer to God, but begin to ask and search God in your prayers. Ask God, what is it, Lord, that you wish to accomplish through me? What is it, God, that you want to accomplish in me and also, what do you want to accomplish through me? I absolutely hope you guys are continuing to take your studies further. You can zero in and dig deeper into this message of Paul in the time that he's going through visiting uh, Philippians chapter one. I hope you guys absolutely continue to thrive. We want you to keep thriving, even though we cannot be with you face to face on our Wednesday night thrive nights. Continue to take your relationship with God personally and take it further keep thriving guys until we meet again under his wings see you soon